Welcome back, anyone. As you might be able to see from what we got on the mill behind me, I've got a utility pole. Uh, I got a bunch of them a while ago, and uh, what I want to do is mill them into 4x4, four 6x6, four, six six, something like that for posts. Now this one happens to be 12 feet long, and it's uh, 8 inches on that end, 10 inches on this end. It's almost big enough to make a 6x6. Six six. Uh, it's only off by about a half an inch in diameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a 6x6 six six anyway, and it's going to have a little bit of weighing on it. Um, on this end of the uh, the six by six, but it's it's going to be okay. So um, I did a video earlier. You haven't seen it. You may never see it. Where I've uh, gone through all of these poles, and I've already gotten uh, ten or fifteen poles so far. It takes forever to find all the metal and uh, pull the metal out. Uh, I spent hours doing. I think it was eight, eight or nine logs. So, at any rate, let's get this thing on the, uh, making sawdust out of here. And again, I'm only looking to get a 6x6, six six, uh, 4x4, four four, maybe even a 4x6. I, I could probably do a 4x6 and get a nice, clean, sharp edge on everything. Um, and uh, see what it looks like. Let's go. First thing I need to do is raise the dreaded tow board. And uh, you can probably almost be guaranteed it's going to stay up until it's too late to figure out what's going on. Oh, wrong one. Let's try to get the right one. All right, we're pretty good there. We're going to drop down over here. Raise that up a little bit. Again, I'm just going to shave a little bit off the top. And I think I'm going to try to shoot for getting a, a four by six out of this. And if I can't, maybe I'll get a 6x4 instead. So we are ready to go. Let's get the mill fired up and uh, we'll start making some uh, treated sawdust.
Our next victim here is an eight foot pole. Now, if you listen carefully, or you don't even have to listen that carefully, throughout this video, you're gonna hear me use the term log. I'm gonna call these things logs. Um, I don't know any better. I do the best I can, but it's, you're gonna hear log a lot. So uh, just bear with me on that. Anyway, we're 10 inches on the small end and bigger on the other end. So uh, the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two four by fours out of here. Uh, it's just barely, or just big enough for a 6x6, six six, but I believe I can get two 4x4s four out of it, which will give me one more piece and uh, less waste. So let's get started on that. All right, gonna go mobile for a moment. And I probably will use the stationary camera over here. You'll love this. Uh, just so you know, uh, each of these poles have been checked a minimum of two times for metal. And uh, the last time it passed with flying colors. And look what we got there. No idea what it is, but it's, don't know what it is. It's probably a nail of some kind. Um, so we'll see, oh, look at this. Got another one right there. So this is, this is my lucky day. So anyway, I guess from now on, I should be checking a little more closely. I don't know if you can see uh, how relatively smooth this is. And then we hit nail number two, and it gets quite a bit rougher. So these free utility poles that I've gotten um, take an awful lot of work, and now I find out that they're really not that free. So anyway, let's uh, see what we can do here. I gotta get this metal pulled out, and uh, I think I'm going to uh, stop getting any more of these things. We'll see what happens. All right, I hope you can see what I got here. So we're gonna go after this nail first. There you go. Well, at least I didn't cut it in half straight across. I did it diagonally so that it uh, takes more uh, blade to do it and find out what this thing is over here. Well, the good news is this appears to be a bullet. That's kind of what it appears to be. So I guess that's a good thing. So anyway, we've got one half of a nail and uh, a bullet. All right, this is an eight foot pole. Um, actually, before I say that, I should probably say that we lost battery power on uh, the camera so whatever you missed uh, you missed uh, turned out okay 
And I uh, had a nice funny quip in there that you missed, but that's okay. You'll uh, have plenty more in the future. Anyway, this is a, an, another eight footer. It's seven inches in diameter on the small end. Big end, we don't care. So the best I'm gonna get out of this will be a four by four. And um, let's get started on this. We got a four by four, uh, almost got a four by six, but the uh, one part was a little too, had some cracks in it and I didn't want to take a chance, but uh, got a nice solid four by four here. Uh, although we had a little bit of stress in there someplace, so it's not very straight, but for what it's going to be used for, it's okay. And you know what? I think you're going to want to see what this thing looks like up close because it's really quite pretty. Of course, I've lost one of the cameras. I know it's here someplace. Oh, there it is. So anyway, we'll go mobile with this one. There we go. I believe this is Southern Yellow Pine and uh, go slowly. It is a, a beautiful grain. Uh, it's artificially colored, of course, but um, we will definitely be able to put this to good use. Okay, that's it for that one. On to the next.